Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to clean a Walbro LMT carburetor removed from a Briggs & Stratton engine. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove the uh, bowl nut. I'll remove the bowl. Now once I got the bowl off, the first thing I'm going to do is spray some penetrating fluid down into the uh, main pickup tube and let that soak in for a moment. Now I'm going to use a nail to push the float pin out and remove the float and a needle valve. Okay, now the next part I'm going to remove is the emulsion tube. Now, the emulsion tube is made of brass and it tends to get stuck down in there. Now, you don't want to just cram any old screwdriver in there. Since it's made of brass, it tends to strip out easily. So what I'm going to do is use this bit and driver. And you want to use the widest, best fitting bit that you can to avoid stripping this out. If you strip it out, you'll have to, uh, get a, to use an easy out to get the emulsion tube out and then you'll need a whole new emulsion tube. So what I'm going to do is stick that in there and just break it free. Alright, and there's the emulsion tube. Now I'm just going to pop this little plastic cap off the adjustment screw. Now I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to unscrew it. And I just set that aside for now. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to clean is the emulsion tube. Now, the main jet is actually built into the end of the emulsion tube and it's got a whole bunch of little holes along the sides that also need to be clear for fuel to flow freely. So what I'm going to do is take this little bit of wire from a wire wheel. I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to clean out all the little holes on the emulsion tube. Okay, I got the emulsion tube clean. Now the emulsion tube in main jet is the most important part of this carburetor. For the rest of it I'm just going to go ahead and clean it down with some carb cleaner and get all the gunk off. Okay now I got all the gunk off and what I'm going to do is use some compressed air and clear out all the passages. Okay now I'm going to reinstall the uh, adjustment screw. Now I'm going to set this to one and a half turns out. Now I'll go ahead and put the emulsion tube back in. This doesn't need to be very tight, it just needs to be snug. Now before I put the inlet needle in, I'm going to take a Q-tip with some metal polish on it. I'm just going to polish the valve seat. Now I'll just blow out any remaining polish with some compressed air. And you can see this seat is all nice and polished now and now I'll help ensure that the needle valve gets a good seal. Now here I have a brand new inlet needle. Now if you look at the end you'll notice that it's actually rubber on the end. Now when this rubber sits in old gas for a long period of time it'll swell up and not seal properly. So anytime I take apart one of these carburetors to clean them after they've been sitting I like to replace this needle. So I'm just going to put the needle on the float. And I'm going to set the float into place and align the needle and just pop the float pin back in. 
Now I'll just put the float bolt on and the nut. And that should be good to go.